Yo, what's going on everyone? This is Lesky here, back to another FIFA 22 Pro Clubs player build for you guys today. And in this video, we're going to be going over this Cam Playmaker build with all three of the passing Playmaker perks. Once you are level 19, you'll get that last third perk slot unlocked and you'll be good to go for this build so you can have all three of the Playmaking perks on. Um, so let's get straight into this build video for this Cam Playmaker build. Starting with the height and weight for this cam build, we went for 5'6", 174 pounds. I think it's better to go on the shorter side for a cam build, um, just because the physical attributes aren't very good. Even if you were to go taller, like 6 foot, or even taller than 6 foot, the physical attributes still wouldn't be that great. So it's best to just go 5'6", in my opinion. And then for the weight, you have a bit more flexibility here. You don't have to go 174 pounds like me. I just went for 174. I think it's a good balance of all the attributes but the higher the weight you go you won't really lose any pace you'll actually gain more sprint speed but lose acceleration and then the opposite if you go lower in weight you'll get more acceleration and lose sprint speed and then same for agility and balance like if you go up in weight for as a cam or honestly as most positions if you go up in weight you'll get more balance than agility and then if you go to like 99 pounds you'll have the best agility possible but low the lowest balance possible um so that's kind of why we went 174 just to keep a good balance but there's also some benefits of going above 174 like in my old cam build we went 253 and it's pretty good you just don't have that much acceleration um but you do have better passing attributes a bit and also your shooting is a little bit better going up in weight but for this time, we just went 5'6", 174. So that's it for the height and weight. Let's move on to the perks where we talked about a little bit, but let's talk about them a bit more. Um, for the first perk, we went for the pinpoint cross. Like I said, we added all the playmaking perks. The second one, we have precision pass. And then the third one, it's the threaded pass. All three of these perks are very nice to have in combination with one another especially with this build as a cam playing in the central area of the field and trying to play make for your teammates like your strikers and your wingers. Um, it's very nice to have all these perks because you don't have to worry about what foot you you are passing the ball with. Like if you have a three-star weak foot or a four-star weak foot, it doesn't matter. You could use your weak foot and you have the five-star weak foot on every single pass you make, whether it's a cross, a through ball, a normal pass, Whatever it may be, every single pass you have is going to be with a five-star weak foot. So you don't even have to worry about that. And then on top of that, all three of these perks um, increase your passing in, in some way. This one increases your crossing ability, and then it also gives you the swerve and then the early crosser trait, which is nice for crossing. And then the precision pass is for like your A passes and your X lobbed passes. Um, and that'll also give you the flare and swerve pass for that. And remember the five-star weak foot. And then Threaded Pass is really nice, which is the last one you unlock at like level 21 or something around there. I'm not too sure about that exactly, um, but it's what increases your vision, which is good for your through balls, your wide through balls and behind. Um, and then it also gives you the Swerve, Flare, and 5 Star Weak Foot, like I said. So all three of these perks is what makes this the ultimate playmaking build. So let's head on over to the skill tree for this cam build. Starting with the physical page, we do not have much here. Honestly, I would love to increase the stamina even more. But the stamina starting as a cam, especially as a shorter cam, I believe, you just do not have very good physical attributes. And it's very low, starting at 71. We bump it up a bit and get plus 3 stamina and plus 2 strength with these first two things on the left for only 3 skill points. Um, and it gets us to 74 stamina. But it's not that great. So you could run that tireless runner perk, which is the second win. But then you don't you'd lose one of the uh, playmaking perks. Like if you would want to do that, you'd probably do it for the crossing one, since you're probably not going to use that one as much. But it's nice to have all the playmaking perks. Um, if y'all have some extra skill points to spare, I guess you could add it to this right here. But even then, it's only going to give you 76 stamina. Um, until you get the acrobat archetype it's what really upgrades your stamina so there's really like no point of even wasting skill points to bump it up to 76 like is, are you going to tell much of a difference between 74 stamina compared to 76 so it's kind of tough you kind of have to deal with the low stamina for a cam um 
And really, the physical attributes aren't very very good. Like I said, cams have very bad physical attributes to start with, other than their 82 reactions are pretty decent. We have nothing on defending, and then on to dribbling, where we have a lot of skill points, which is crucial for a cam build playing in the central area of the field. They're going to be dribbling a lot, uh, cutting, twisting, and turning, trying to get angles for passes, shots, whatever it may be. There's going to be a lot of people pressing, and you need to have good dribbling to maneuver out of tight situations. So for the dribbling page, we went for the five-star skills. I love my five-star skills. If you don't use five-star skills, don't rock them. Take them off. Take this one off. Go for four. Or if you don't even want four, just go for the three-star. Uh, the three star. And then you have 10 skill points to work with. And then you can add it to the physical page for more stamina or probably add it to the shooting page, maybe passing as well. Um, kind of up to you, but you don't really need to touch the dribbling page um, it's already pretty good unless you want to add more balance. That's the one thing you could do if you don't want one of the skill moves or both of the skill, the skill moves, you can add some balance and then use the rest of the skill points somewhere else. But for me, I like the five star. So we're going to have that on and then we're going to make sure we get this agility right here and then get the links archetype, which is very nice and clutch for pretty much any position, but especially for a cam to boost your agility and balance. And we have 89 agility and 85 balance with 89 ball control and 90 dribbling. So this is a very well-rounded dribbling page for this camp build. Let's take a look at the passing page where we had to put a decent amount of skill points on the passing page. Even though we do have all the passing perks and they boost our passing in different ways, we want to boost up the passing even more. Because the passing, like in general, as a 5-6 cam is not that great. We only have 77 vision, 79 long pass, 82 short pass. So getting this first one will get us plus two. This next one, it'll get us plus three short pass, this 87 short pass. And then we're going to make sure we get this long pass right here. It's only two skill points for plus four long passing. Get this next vision right here. You're going to want to make sure you get this vision rather than this one because this one only gives you plus two while this one gives you plus three for the same amount of skill points. And then we're going to go over to this long passing and vision right here which gives us plus two vision and then bumps up the long passing a little bit more to get it even with the short pass where we will have 82 vision, 84 crossing, 86 long pass, 87 short pass and 79 curve, which is the lowest thing. And the only way to upgrade that would be to go over here and upgrade some of the crossing and curve, which is kind of just a waste of skill points. So that's all right. I, maybe, yeah, you can't even upgrade it with the arc, the, architect archetype either so this is it for the passing page remember we do have all three of those perks to boost this passing even more so it's actually even better most of the passing attributes are probably in the 90s with all three of those perks active so now let's check the shooting page like almost all my attacker builds we went for the four star weak foot that's not too much skill points and we're going to pretty much get these shooting stuff anyway so you might as well get the four star weak foot it is very clutch even though we have the five star weak foot for all of our passes when it comes to shooting situations, it's still nice to have a four-star weak foot rather than a three-star weak foot. And I did score a ton of goals. Honestly, majority of my goals that I scored with this build were with my weak foot on my left foot, which is quite surprising. And I didn't have much problems at all. I felt like a five-star weak foot in situations. And almost all my chances I had with my left foot, I put in the back of the net. So the four-star weak foot was very clutch over the three-star weak foot. And then we're going to get this long shot and shot power, which will get us plus four long shots and plus two shot power for three skill points, which is nice. The one thing that's really lacking for a cam is the shot power on the shooting page. We only have 69 shot power as a 5'6", 174 pound cam. If you were to go higher in weight, you could get it to over 70 shot power. If you were to go like 198, 253, 224, something like that. So that's an alternative and a positive for going higher in weight. But the lower the weight, if you could go even lower than 174, you'll have even worse shooting, I believe. Um, so that's kind of just something we have to deal with. And then we got this finishing right here, this next finishing and volleys, and then the next one after that, which will bump us up to a respectable shooting um, attributes, which are 86 finishing, 84 free kick actually, 52 heading actually. They just make heading terrible for cams. Can't do anything about that. Same with shot power of 69 90 long shot 90 long shots are very good but the shot power might let it down a bit 
Um, and then 87 volley. So the volleys are pretty good. And then the penalties, yeah, not very good either. But this is it for the shooting page. And remember, this is a playmaker build, playmaking cam build. It's not really a crazy shooting finisher cam build, um, which I could make in the future. But this one's solely just for playmaking and passing. So the shooting page isn't crazy. Um, let's take a look at the pace page, where this is an area, if you had some extra skill points, if you have more skill points than me, or if you aren't going for the five-star skills, or if you're only going for the three-star skills, you could add three of those skill points to the sprint speed and you'll get an even 93 acceleration and 93 sprint speed. But since I really wanted to spread the skill points out and I really didn't need the plus two sprint speed, I took that off um, and just decided to rock the, it, you could even rock it with this 90 acceleration, 91 sprint speed, but I wanted the plus three acceleration um, since this one only gives you plus two sprint speed. So it's kind of better to go for the plus three acceleration. Uh, that's what I went for. Um, but if you have some extra skill points, you can add it to the sprint speed and it'll get a very nice balance of a 93 pace. Um, and pace really isn't a problem. It's very quick with the good agility and balance and really good dribbling attributes. You feel pretty responsive. And then remember, the focus point of this build is to play make and use that passing ability and those perks um, to try and get your teammates in behind and in shooting situations so you can rack up some assists. So that's going to do it for this cam playmaker build, guys. Please let me know in the comments if you do give this build a try, how it went on for you. I'd love to hear that. And if you could hit that like button on this video and hit that subscribe button on my channel if you aren't already subscribed. I'm going to be coming out with more pro club player builds for you guys. So stay tuned. Thank you guys for watching. Y'all have a great rest of y'all's day and peace out.